I am David, your developer on Duty, and in this video we will have a look at some useful Git workflows using Vim Fugitive. The installation is very simple, you take your favorite package manager, here I use Packer, and you just add tpope Vim Fugitive and install the plugin. Let's perform some changes in the Git repository and also add a new file. To have a glance at the changes compared to your previous commit, you can press colon uppercase G to enter the status page. In here you can move your cursor like in any other Vim buffer, but I prefer using double square brackets to quickly jump to the next section or to the previous section. To see a list of useful commands, you can press G question mark, and here we can, for example, see that S stages the file or hunk under the cursor. So let's try to stage that file by pressing S, and you can see it will be added to the staged area. To toggle an inline diff, you can press the equal sign, or if you prefer a vertical difference, you can press DV, which opens it in a split, and to quit it, you can press DQ. You can press U to unstage a file, and you can press Shift X to delete the change altogether. If you're happy with the commit, you can press CC to go in the commit pane. Here you can write your commit message, write it and quit it, and it's committed. Let's create a new branch by writing colon G checkout minus B feature x. And now let's do some changes. To see the changes of this file compared to your previous commit, you can write g v div split. You can also see the changes compared to a certain branch by writing g v div split main, for example. To retain focus on the current window, you can also add an exclamation mark. That means GV div split exclamation mark main. Let's also make a change in another file. To see the changes of all file using tabs, you can press colon G div tool dash Y and now each tab represents a change in a file. Hint, if you want to get rid of all those tabs, you can press tab O for tab only. You can use the gedit command to open a file in some revision. For example, gedit main file2.js. This will show the content of the file in the main branch. You can also replace your buffer, for example, using gread main file one shares. You can see the history using glog and you can jump to each commit using bracket bracket. To open up the commit, you can press either shift O to see the changes in a new tab or O to see the changes in a split, or you can press COO to check out that commit. Sometimes when you merge two or more branches, you get merge conflicts. For example, g merge main. But there are nice tools to resolve those merge conflicts. In a file with merge conflicts, you can execute gv div split exclamation mark. In the left window, you can see the current change. In the middle, your merge conflict. And on the right, the branch you want to merge it with. You can jump to the next tongue using bracket C. And now if you want to take it over from the left window, you press D to O, or let's undo it, or from the right window using D three O. To see a list of all the other features, you can press help fugitive. It gives you a nice documentation of what's available. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned.